Hi, everybody. This is the Dare Show Podcast. And I'm just going to get right to it because I went and saw, I went to see the Chromatica Ball tour. Is that what it's called? Oh, my gosh. I'm like, I need to talk about it quickly before it even becomes more of a haze because, okay, this is my first major concert, like at a stadium. Or just like anybody else. This is my second concert of my lifetime. Um, But I was very... I had fun. I had a crazy amount of fun. I wanted to lose my fucking mind. I knew I was going to lose my fucking mind with certain songs. And that's exactly exactly what I did. I think I was like in my... At certain points... (laughs) And now to think about it, it's slightly embarrassing... At certain points of the the music, like the intros and outro, or no, the outros of certain songs, I was the only one dancing. And so <laughs> I was just like, oh, okay. Wait, why aren't y'all dancing? Like, am I the only one dancing? Like, oh my God, I had so much fun. Just like, you know, jumping around. Um, okay, let me just get into it. So I'm going to talk a little pre-show shit right quick. Um, my seats were... I think it was, like, ground something. It was on the ground on the right-hand side, the very edge. So I could barely see. I, I couldn't see anything. There's no point of those seats. <laughs> and I, I think that's why, I like, I took advantage of, like, just having fucking fun. Because I'm like, I can't really see anything. My camera wasn't doing too much fun <laughs> tonight, that night. Yes, last night. Um, oh, this is um, the Houston one, the Houston show. Uh, my camera wasn't doing much, so I had to have fun. So the seats weren't that great, but in you know I could see the screen. The screen was popping right there. Um, what else? The music. The music. The pre-show music, the aka like the opening act, I believe, you know, when her fans tweeted or something, like one of the accounts were like, Lady Gaga will be the first um woman doing a stadium tour with no opening acts. I'm not how good I'm not sure how good of a um accomplishment that is because I was fucking bored. I was disturbed. I was annoyed. I'm like, okay, it's like this one beat playing. The beat was cute every now and then, but it was with this one beat playing with same beat playing for like an hour, two hours, right? (laughs) With the like different sing, different um, songs going in and out. And it'll be clips like, like clips of like a vocal. Like, the only songs I could recognize that there was Usher. Now I think they were playing Alice. I think they had played Alice um, from her, her album. And then SWV, Rain. The Rain one, I was like, wait, what, what uh, remix is this? Because I need to get it to I need to get Shazam. Because I was like, oh, I need to get this Rain remix. Even though it was like, Rain? <laughs> this all that were like, re- re- repeated. But anyways, um, the merch... So I got the sweater, the hoodie, the um, Houston, whatever. And I do like that how everyone, all of them are, um, I don't particularly like the color, but okay, whatever. I wish the color was kind of, I think other cities had like a brighter color to it, but okay, whatever. Um, I'm glad I got that. That's definitely a keepsake. This fucking wristband is still on my wrist. And then I think I pushed it on too tight. And now I, I want to cut it off, but I don't want to cut it off. They gave the, um, I guess at cert- a some, some point in the last couple of shows, they had not given out everybody the um, bracelet to like, with the light up bracelet. Um, that came off it amazingly easy but i wish i would have put that on my right hand because i was oh my gosh when i was popping it i was just like oh wait i'm right-handed why did i put this on my left hand but anyways oh because they put this shit on my right they put the um the um 
wristband on my right, which is annoying. Um, it's music. So yeah, I think she needed she, the, the music sucked. I wish she would would have had like better music or just an opening act. But whatever, whatever. <sighs> Jesus, the parking was ridiculous. The parking, like I was expecting, like twenty dollars, eight eight dollars. The parking was fucking ridiculous. We're driving by, and it's like the closer, um, the closer parking to the venue, the higher. So it was like fifty to eighty dollars higher than a couple of blocks down, which where I parked. I think it was forty dollars, thirty dollars, something like that. I wasn't expecting that. And then that margarita I got, the strawberry margarita I got, didn't. I mean, it did a little something, but it was like so sweet. And I was just like, okay, twenty five dollars. Uh, never again. Never again. <laughs> I should have got a water because I definitely needed a water. Um, but anyway, so the show starts. Oh, I couldn't find my seats. Um. I'm over finding seats on an airplane. I'm over finding seats at a concert. I'm just over it. I want to, I'm like, okay, I need to just be in the pit because people are leaving the fucking pit throughout this show. And I'm like, why are y'all leaving? Like, I don't understand. But anyways, not the pit or like whatever, the VIP. That's where I need to be. I need to be where the people are. But I was, I was, I was satisfied. My main thing from this whole experience was, I got to listen to these amazing songs that I've been listening to for years that I have been listening to at work that I've been listening to at the at home in the car. I've got to listen to them live and it was like so much fun jumping around being told what to do. Like she told us to get the fuck up and dance. I mean, get the fuck up and jump. And I was like, Oh, let me get the fuck up and jump. <laughs> Like, I'm telling you, I lost my mind. Like, I was, it was ridiculous. Um, so, like, for the first, okay, the preludes, interludes. The interludes, and I tweeted, like, it's, like, crazy. The interludes were fucking scary. They were, they were scary, but then they were, like, there was, like, a beauty to the creativity. Like, it was, her creativity seems very endless. Like, her team and her creativity seems in, endless. And there's, like, a beauty to that. But then, like, some parts I was like, what the fuck are we watching? Um, I'm scared. <laughs> and then she got on stage. I don't even think we got to see, like, she never came. Yeah, the first, like, act she did not come down from the... She did not come down off the stage. And so, you know, I'm on the side. And if you know how the stage is built, you know how the stage is built. So you can't see anything center in the center of the stage. Like, deep in the center. That was just why I hate... It's, never mind. I'm not going to go into that. But that was annoying. It was slightly annoying. But anyways. But she was, like, in this contraption. It was a cute little contraption. And she just stayed up there and she sang... Um, Bad Romance, which was cool. My motherfucking jam, Just Dance. I don't remember Poker Face that much. Some songs I really don't remember that much. Because these songs, and then like some of the Chromatica songs, they're like two, three minutes. So it's like, like quick. And it's like, oh shit, it's over now. That's the only thing that like, I don't remember some of this stuff. Some of the songs. Uh, like I remember the feeling around, but other than that, no. So then we go into the second act, which is... Not as happy as the first. <laughs> and you know what? I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Alice is not my favorite song. And it definitely was. It did feel like a break in the so the audience or the section I was in. It felt like, like a, um, okay, can we move along? Like, it had its moment, but then it was just like, um... Oh, she's singing this whole song. Okay, okay. She sang Replay after Alice? I don't even remember. I love Replay, and I was not expecting Replay to be so high into the set. Like, I was like, oh, this is going to be a little bit later. Oh, my gosh, Replay. I've been watching Replay all day long. Replay, like, woke up in my head. I just, like, I love Replay, and to hear it live was just so much fun monster and then she went into 911 
I put 911 and Sour Candy together because they gave what Alice gave, to be, to be honest. But she kept doing this, like, where's the Sour Candy? I think it was both. She kept doing this, like, weird vocal thing where she did not sound that cute. And I was like, uh-oh. Oh, wait, let's go back to Bad Romance I mean, when she first opened. I don't know if it was the character that she was playing. I'm guessing it was a character because she looked beat up. She looked fucking tired. I was like, oh, is she okay? Like, are we going to be okay tonight? <laughs> but I'm guessing it was, like, the character that, you know, that she was portraying. Um... That that was a little nervous because I'm like, oh, she need she needs some rest. Okay, but anyways, um, nine one one calif uh sour candy that vocal thing she was doing was not not it. Also, like I think I was over to nine one one at this point because like when the first album first came out, and I think everybody needs to recognize, you know. Yes, Renaissance is having, like, had this, like, meme attachment to it. But the first meme attachment to an album or these the recent album was Chromatica. And that was because of the interlude into 911. So, <laughs> you can say what you want, but, you know, Beehive, chill out. Um... But anyways, um, 911, Sour Candy, Telephone, that was fun, Love Game, that was fun. Uh, her mic seemed, the music sounded louder than the mic. And I'm like, I think I need to get one of those ear thingies. I'm like, no wonder she wears the earrings, or they wear the earrings during the, these like stadium big ass shows, because there's no way. She could properly hear herself. And I feel like at certain times she might have been like borderline. I'm not saying it, but she was like borderline like screaming to get to the notes or the notes sounded screamish. But anyways, her mic did not, from my, like where I was, her mic was like low, a little bit lower than the music. And it, that wasn't too fun to listen to. Like, no, nah, that wasn't too fun. And I feel like there wasn't a lot of, like, backing. So, like, during, like, um, I think Babylon, which is next. That was a fun, that, the whole, the gold, beautiful. That was, you know, we're getting a little bit more lighter in the show. <laughs> um, the Babylon, like, certain parts in, like, I think Babylon and, like, 911 and Candy. Like, I think she stopped singing. Oh, on um, telephone too. I think she was out of breath. Also, she might have been just going through a lot. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But she was like out of breath. And I think like in telephone, she kind of stopped singing. And then Babylon, she kind of stopped singing. And it was just like these slightly awkward moments. Like, oh, okay. Um. I did not know I was a free woman stand. Some of these, like, listening to live music, listening, see, seeing something live, but experiencing it live is, like, very interesting. Um, I did not expect to be a free woman stand. I love free fucking woman. And I think it's the whole, like, imagery that she created with free woman. Babylon was cute. And then we go into Free Woman, but <sighs> what a moment. And her, like, in this, like, giant gold shit and the mask walking through the crowd, looking like having, like, so much fun. It looks so, like, raw and, like, video it, like, a music video type situation. Like, it looks so great. Like, I wish there was a video for that. Like, I wish th that could be the video. Um, I think I saw somebody said they taped one of these shows, um, but I don't know. Hopefully that would, that would be cool because I, I'm a free woman stand. I did not necessarily like free woman because of like the vocals in it sound kind of annoying. 
not. But they're like f- annoying fun now. <laughs> now I'm like, oh my God, this is so fucking fun. Um, free woman. I'm a free woman stand. I'm just out there singing, I'm a free woman. Like, I'm a fucking free woman. Like, <laughs> I was popping it. Okay. And then the free woman, um, the that's one of the outros where I was just like popping it. Like, I was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a free woman. And nobody else was like really dancing. So then she like disappeared and it's like this musical outro. And she goes up into whatever that second stage was about. I think there was like a nest egg or something. I don't know. The lights were so bright. I really couldn't take a picture. The lady next to me, she's like, can you take a picture? Because I'm so short. And I'm like, of course. And so I couldn't really get a picture of her because the lights were bright over there. Um, But yeah. So Free Woman is my favorite song. I just have to say that. So then, oh my gosh, here we go. Now, when When This Way came out, I don't think I was, I was definitely wasn't blasting Born This Way. I think it was one of the songs I ignored because of where I was. But now Born This Way, this, Born This Way the fucking jam, okay? I hear Born This Way at work all the time. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is the motherfucking jam. And I think it's like that soulful Tamar Braxton. Shout out to Tamar Braxton. Tamar's popping it on there. Um, it's that soulful shit that was just like so much fun, and I'm just like, I love Born This Way. So she's like playing on the piano, Born This Way, and I'm like, she's talking. I'm like, okay, okay, let me do a little record. And so I'm thinking like, I don't want to listen to the piano version of Born This Way. <laughs> I'm thinking and I'm recording, like, I want to, like, pop and drop it to Born This Way. So, unexpectedly. <laughs> there was so much, like, oh, my gosh, I was not expecting that moment. And Born This Way was one of them because, unexpectedly, she said, okay, let's go. <laughs> she popped her five for two up as off of that piano and started popping it in her gold shit. I was like, Yes. Boy, this way! Oh my gosh, I... Yeah, I lost my mind during one this way. To the LGBTQ plus community all over Texas. I want you to celebrate your pride tonight. And every night... Okay, so there was this, there was this lady that everybody was taking pictures with, and it was like, in my section only, which was really weird. I'm like, who is that? I meant to ask somebody who was that person, um, but she had on, like, the, like, shallow dress, the, not dress, but the one, the tour. The, the tour shallow costume that she um got guys was wearing i was just like who is that because everybody was taking pictures with her and i'm like okay i guess um <laughs> where was it okay born this way so oh, okay so shallow shallow was cute shallow was fun we're at the piano um yeah shallow was cute i wasn't too impressed but it was fun Somebody, some random rumor said that Bradley was going to be um, at the concert or singing Shallow with her or something, which I think would have helped and made it more fun because I'm like, Solo Shallow really isn't that girl, but okay, <laughs> we'll listen to it. Sh- 
channel. Always, oh my gosh. Okay, so then we're getting into the mem, the uh, the um emotional part um of the show. So she start, you know, she's talking in and out of these songs, and she brings up Sonia, who was her friend. And I forgot when she had passed away, but it was right before I think Joanne had came out. Um, I think I saw something art pop. Sorry, it's not art pop. It's Joanne. So it's a little bit more fresh, a little bit more, um, a little bit more fresh. Um, and I think she wrote Grigio Girls about Sonia, but she had like, you know, oh shit, I just tightened this even tighter. Oh my God. Okay. I got to cut this off. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, because my circulation is about to end me. Because the concert didn't end me. I really thought I was going to pass out. Because I think I was doing so much jumping and shit. And then I was wearing the hoodie. And I didn't have water. And I was like, okay. If this is the end. (laughs) This is the end. (laughs) Um... (laughs) So yeah, she was talking about Sonya and... How Sonya was from Texas, um, but I think I watched the Dallas show. She had talked a lot more about Sonya, and that whole situation was just sad. And she, Gaga was like really crying, and um, got choked up, and it's just very unfortunate, very sad, very ugh. Beautiful, all the um, I love always. That's what I'm gonna tell quickly. Look up. Let me see. If I can look that up, I don't think always this. Somebody was saying I was what, listening to this podcast, and they were saying, um, "Always remember you. Always remember you this way." Had more streams. Had more streams than, um, bad romance, and I was like, "Oh, well, where did it chart? How well did it chart? I don't think it charted that like crazy." Let me see, let me see, let me see. US, where did the US go? Oh, 41. So yeah, I don't I don't know. Yeah, it didn't go number one really anywhere. So I guess she I don't know. Maybe she did it for that, you know, effect. Um, bringing up Sonia. Um, or maybe she did it for it's a great ass song. It really is a great ass song. It's one of my favorite songs from the album. Why does it say it went platinum in the US, but it sold 200,000 copies? That's not platinum. Anyways. What? Okay, anyways. Anyways. Um, that's a really great song. So then she goes into the Edge of Glory. That was cute. Um, and then she goes into, you know, these fun sing-along songs. And I think that's really what I took away from her music and this, her concert was she, her songs are like chants. They're like chants in them. They're like, she's created like this, like get up and jump situation that goes really fun and along with the songs. So it's like this, like rock pop concert with, you know, some jazz in there it's really fun. It's really fun. A fun experience. They don't tell you how to take this shit off, which is pissing me off because I don't want to cut this. Um, Angel Down. So, you know, I think for the last couple of shows, she's in America, I think also. She's been getting into like a little pol- political moments without being too political. And that brings up, I don't believe, I don't know if it's, I don't believe this um, stop in Houston was at the Minute Maid Park. I don't think it was completely sold out. And I read a tweet saying, you know, something like, we're in the South and it's a sort of red state and they're not here for Gaga like that. So basically that that happened, which was crazy and unfortunate. I think it was like a thousand seats still open or something like that or a thousand tickets still open but it looked uh full to me <laughs> um <coughs> excuse me 
Angel Down was the best vocal moment out of all those songs. Angel Down, I was thoroughly impressed. Um, You know, Joanne, everybody has their opinion about Joanne. I don't know what my opinion is. I'll listen to some songs. Some songs I'll skip. But it's a cute album. It's nothing crazy to, like, go up in arms over. Um, But she sang Angel Down... Um, I've been, I think she was previously singing a thousand doves, which I'm like, oh, I wouldn't want to listen to a thousand doves. I really thought I was really disappointed that plastic doll was not in the set. That's like my favorite song from the album, (sighs) but it wouldn't have worked. I don't think it would have worked any particular, maybe as an interlude in one of the interludes, but I don't think it was going to work. Um, but yeah, Angel Down was vocally really, really, really beautiful. Really beautiful. Uh, and she was talking about, you know, <laughs> Texas, get it together. I know you can do it. And I'm like, yeah, Texas. They're ta- she's talking to you because I'm not from Texas. <laughs> um, Yeah, just really fun, inspiring talk she had throughout like this like piano moment. Baby, and then we get into Enigma. And I was like, I knew we were going to get into Enigma, Enigma because I remember, like, the costume, the mic stand, the whole rock. Like, that's the rock moment. And everybody loves Enigma. That's what I'm really finding out. Everybody loves Enigma. And I thought she was going to sing, I thought she was going to name the album Enigma after the um, the the Vegas residency, but she did it. But I don't know what Chromatica is. I don't know where Chromatica is. I don't know what Chromatica means. But I thought this was going to be, you know, the Enigma moment. But everybody loves Enigma. That's what I learned. I'm learning. And Enigma just goes so fucking hard live. Like, I lost my fucking mind with Enigma. And then the outro, again, I was the only one popping it, dropping it, in section G. <laughs> 311. I was the only one. Like, I was having so much fun dancing to that jazz shit. Like, it was it was amazing. It was so much fun. It was great. Though that was the moment. Those were like the moments. And I, I I have it on like anchor and I'm like listening to it again. I'm like, yeah, this was it. This was it. Enigma. Enigma is that bitch. Okay. Oh my gosh. Let me calm down. So now we're ending. Stupid love. She's running out of breath. She's running out of energy. She's running out of vocal. <laughs> and like, there wasn't any like background singing, but like they could have turned the, the mixing of like the backgrounds and her vocals were like kind of weird. I think she didn't want to come off as like, okay, if I turn it up too loud, I'm lip singing, but turn that shit up. Like, girl, you're out of breath. <laughs> You're out of breath and kind of sounding out of breath. Like, I'm just going to say, you know, it wasn't that fun listening to her during Rain and Stupid Love. But, you know, we over here dancing. We had a good time. Um, Rain, I was so excited for it. I was like, yeah, I'm losing my mind. So let me get ready to lose my mind. Let me sit down. So I can get up and give my mind 100% ready of usage to lose. Uh, Rain was so much fucking fun. Uh, she kept the, um, um, what's her name? Ariana verse. Cool, cool, cool. We out there still dancing. We out here still singing loud. It was fun. It was so much fucking fun. There wasn't any fireworks because the dome was closed, but there was a lot of fucking flames. Jesus. You can feel it too. Shit. Um. Yeah, the flame. That that was pretty much the only like big pyrotechnic. Oh, during Alice, she was like, I think she was very high up. During Alice, I'm at Thingamabob. Um. That was pretty much the only like pyrotechnic or like thingy that I could see. Besides that contraption she was in. <laughs> Which was smart. She didn't really dance. I don't think she danced a lot during the first act. I think that was smart. Um, Before I get into the final song that I've been talking about on this show. 
the dancing was unnecessary. Like, I really didn't care about the dancing. It wasn't, like, spectacular to watch. Not that I could really see anything with her five for two ass and all them dancers. Not that I could really see anything. But I wasn't like, oh, okay, this is, like, you know, a dance moment. No, because I couldn't see. Maybe that's the thing. I couldn't see. But I'm like, uh, I'm here for the vocals and the bops. Like, that's really what I, at the end of the day, that's what I really came for. So hold my hand. <coughs> I'm still not impressed. Oh wait, I didn't I didn't say fun tonight. I was impressed by fun tonight. She made me a fun tonight stand. I was not expecting to be because once she started feeling it, I was like, oh let me get up and feel it. Look, she was on the piano, she did the little piano moment, and that again, like born this way, she's like she snapped it on and the dance part came on and um, a cute message, you know, if you're not having fun in your soul, if you're not having fun in your body, it's going to be okay. You're going to figure it out. Um, but this song is for you. And I, I, that, was, that was a really cute message, a really fun message. Um, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. That was fun. Uh, fun tonight. I'm a fun tonight stan. That, yeah, that went hard. I didn't, I don't know all the words for it because I don't listen to it like that. But I'm a fun tonight stare. That was really, like, yeah, that was fun. Because, like I said, when she popped into, like, when that beat popped and she popped too, I was like, oh, she feeling it. Let me feel it. Um, oh, my gosh. Hold my hand. It wasn't what it was supposed to give. Uh, <sighs> Yeah, I was on Instagram. And then, like, towards the end, like, throughout the show, she's doing, like, this nasally vocal that wasn't too cute. And it hold my hand at the end. She was doing that, and it wasn't too cute. And, yeah. I don't know. I don't. It wasn't. It wasn't it. So that was the show. <laughs> I thoroughly, I I had fun. I had fun. I had fun. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed her. Thank you, Lady Gaga, for the Chromatic Tour. I'm so glad I got to listen to these amazing songs. Like I said, that I've been listening to for years. You know, now some of them is like two years with the newer songs. I'm live, and I'm like waking up with like these songs in my head. I still like. I'm on, like, a high is I'm loving wearing my Chromatica sweater. I need to take care of it because I don't want to get it to shrink. Because if that thing shrinks, I got a triple XL. And if that thing shrinks, I'm I'm done because it fits barely okay. Because I'm a tall dude. And so then, um, yeah. Yeah, I got to take care of that sweater. I kind of feel like I wanted to get the just, I mean, the be free the be free um what is it shirt something like that's so cute and it's like free woman i'm a free woman stand so like it just fits hand in hand but that's it um let me know what did you think of the show if you like left around um i enjoyed it i thought i turned that off but i didn't okay um, I don't think I have anything else to say. I I'm a I feel like I'm addicted, and I want to go see another show. So you know, if you want to fly me to Miami, hit me up. We can do a little review together, or whatever. Um, I think it's in like what a couple days. Shit, I miss work. Like that shit was so much fun. You know, I had, really had a lot of fun, and I wasn't even like drunk off that stupid margarita. Yeah, I had fun. Shout out to Lady Gaga. Thank you so much for listening on the Dare Show podcast. Um, I did upload a couple of, um, you can see, yeah, I uploaded a picture and the memory, I mean, the, um, on my stories, I don't think it's up, but it's, by the time this comes out, it's probably not going to still be up. It's My Love, My Need Tonight. Um, I'm on YouTube. I'm going to be on, I'm still on Spotify, Apple, all of that. So thank you so much for listening to the Dash Show Podcast. Peace.